All right, so the next technique I'm going to show is going to be the lumbar pelvic technique. Uh, also, uh, this is going to be the lumbar pelvic manipulation, uh, and it's also going to be called the Sabuka Slam. This is going to be for patients, uh, indication for patients who have patella uh, femoral syndrome pain. And so there's going to be five criteria that the patient will have to meet in order for this to work. The first one is going to be uh, side to side difference between hip internal rotation, which is going to be greater than uh, 14 degrees. And this is going to be the most powerful criteria. The second one is going to be ankle dorsiflexion with the knee flex uh, greater than 16 degrees. Um, the next one is going to be navicular drop greater than 3 millimeters. And the next one after that is going to be no, no self-reporting stiffness in the seated position greater than 20 minutes. And the last one is going to be squatting is the most painful activity for this patient. So the first thing I'll do is I'll have the patient lie in supine. Um, I will then uh, have the patient extend their legs here, and I'll have them scoot as far as they can onto the table here, which is perfect there. I will then take their hips, and I'll move their hips towards me. And I will uh, take their leg here, and I'll cross it just to help them uh, hold, hold this position here. I'll have the patient move more towards this way. There we go. I will then take the patient's hand, and I'll have them interlock behind his head here. And I will then... Uh, help the patient turn this direction here and I'll take my hand and I'll stick it through this arms here and I will use the bed uh, side as a fulcrum here I will then uh, have the patient breathe in and breathe out and again I'll have them breathe in and breathe out and then I will have a follow all the way down I'll do a high velocity low amplitude fl thrust right here and um, if there is no uh, crepitus that's okay to, that doesn't mean it didn't work um, but um, also this is going to be uh, to help decrease pain and also while the patient is in, in that position it actually will inhibit the uh, quadriceps muscle um, also at the same time it will be, it'll be strengthening it as well and this will be to help increase their functional activity and uh, so without pain with that.